Hey there, welcome back to another Mindset Monday. I'm so happy you keep coming back and watching these every week. This is kind of like my new baby. I don't know, my new passion project. I don't know what I'll call it, but I love making these videos for you and I've got good feedback so far. So uh, I'm really happy that you're loving them. Excuse the AirPods. Um, I should try to cover them with my hair. Uh, they look so dorky. My kids are loud and I don't want you hearing. My son's actually gonna be vacuuming in the room right next to me. So I'm hoping this maybe blocks the sound a little bit. If you have not seen any of the previous Mindset Monday videos I've done, I think there's been two or three three of them now. I'm gonna go ahead and link the playlist down below where I'm putting all of the mindset videos so you can go ahead and binge watch them. I hope they're helping you. I hope they're kind of just giving you a new perspective or um, a new way to think about things. And um, yeah, I just, I think that's a great thing when somebody else can offer us a new perspective and it can absolutely change the way that we are viewing something, processing something, dealing with something in our lives. So let's go ahead and hop right in. Here is today's topic. So as I mentioned before, I'm also doing this over on Instagram as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the Instagram picture right here. This is what I posted. You can head over there and connect with me on Instagram if you'd like and go ahead and read that caption and leave me a comment over there to let me know what are your thoughts on today's topic. So as you can see today, we are going to talk about if something doesn't bring you joy, I want you to get rid of it, right? Now this could be people, things, um, activities, jobs, anything. And listen, I know and you know it's not necessarily that simple, right? I mean, if there's somebody in our life that's not bringing us joy, we can't always just kick them to the curb that quickly without a second thought. Of course, it's more complicated than that, but I just kind of want to get this into your head that you do not have to um, always deal with people or situations or keep things in your home or in your life uh, that are not bringing you joy, that are not adding value to your life in some way, that are making you feel bad or bringing you down. And here's the thing, I always jokingly say that I am a recovering people pleaser, but it's not really a joke because this is a part of my personality that I've never liked. I'm, I'm otherwise pretty independent and strong-willed and um, I don't give too, too much uh, weight to other people's opinions in many situations, but I really hate disappointing people. And you know, this mindset isn't just about people, right? A lot of the things that I notice I keep in my life or I have in my life or I do in my life that I know are not bringing me joy are somehow tied to disappointing people. So for example, um, I will often go places or um, do social things that I don't really want to do because I don't want to disappoint somebody, whether it's a friend or a family member or even just my kids that maybe want to go somewhere or my husband that maybe wants to go somewhere. Um, so again, it's not always that simple. A lot of times we do things because we love other people and we want to make them happy, right? We want to bring them joy. So we um, sacrifice our own personal joy for them. It's not always that dramatic, but my husband, he likes to be more social and I'm more of a homebody. I literally stay at home all day, every day, um, and that brings me joy. So. There are plenty of times when I go and do things, social things that he wants to do that I really don't want to do because it makes him happy. And I know he wants me there with him. He doesn't want to go by himself. He wants to spend time with me and other people together. So I'm not necessarily referring to those type of situations. I'm more so referring to things like Perhaps you uh, have some work events that are social events, so they're optional, and you go because you feel obligated, but perhaps the people you work with uh, make it feel like a toxic environment for you, right? And you already have to be there enough, enough time away from your family when you're actually working and being surrounded by those people that you don't actually enjoy being around. So 
don't put yourself in the situation more times than necessary and force yourself to go to social events around the same group of people as well, right? That's just going to keep stealing your joy. And if it's optional, make the choice not to go. Make the choice to go ahead and create a boundary for yourself that you're not going to give away any more of your precious time and energy um, to a group of people that feels like it's sucking the life out of you instead of bringing you joy, right? That also can relate to things around your house. I know myself and a lot of other people have a really difficult time getting rid of things if somebody you care about gave it to you or purchased it uh, as a gift for you or maybe it was a hand-me-down or maybe it was even something, um, a possession from somebody who passed away that was special and important to you. And I struggled with this one for a long time because my family is more sentimental around things and I'm not sentimental as much about things. They kind of thought I was crazy when I didn't want a whole bunch of uh, my grandparents' possessions when they passed away, but they're here in my heart and they're here in my memories and I don't want a whole bunch of stuff. Stuff doesn't make me feel closer to somebody personally. Now, if it makes you feel closer to somebody and brings you joy, that is great by all means keep it but if it doesn't and it's just cluttering up your home and making you feel um claustrophobic and disorganized and making you feel anxious ditch it get rid of it you do not have to keep stuff if it's not adding value to your life right take a picture of it if you want then you at least have a picture of it if you feel guilty uh, you can pull out that picture and look at that every time you want to think of that person. How about that closet full of clothing that you've been hanging on to because you spent a good amount of money on it and you're frugal and you don't want to waste the money, but you haven't been able to fit in it for two years. Who can relate? <laughs> Me, for sure. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I hung on to and I kept because I was trying to... Um, lose weight and get back in shape and be able to fit into this clothing again that I loved and made me feel so good about myself. But guess what? It's not bringing me joy anymore. It's making my closet cluttered and it's making me feel badly when I walk into the closet and I see all of this clothing there that I spent all this money on and I just desperately want to get back into it. It makes me feel bad about myself and the weight that I gained and the way I look right now. And it makes me feel bad that I still haven't gotten myself back into the shape where I can wear those clothes again with confidence, where they make me feel good. So instead of bringing me joy when I put them on and making me feel good about myself, they're actually doing the exact opposite. Get rid of it, ditch it, donate it, sell it, give it to somebody else who could wear it and enjoy it and love it. But you are under no obligation just because you spent money before or because somebody bought that clothing for you for a gift, you're under no obligation to let it sit there and take up space in your home and take up space in your head every time you walk in your closet and you see it and it makes you feel like crap. You don't have to do that. You don't have to hang on to it. So um, I know this week is probably a little bit more personal and maybe some of the examples I mentioned um, resonate with you and maybe none of them do, but I can guarantee you there are things, people, places, events, something in your life that instead of bringing you joy and giving you life is kind of sucking the life out of you and making you feel badly. And if you need permission to get rid of it and move on with your life, here's your permission. Again, um, it's not always that easy when it comes down to a person, a family member, a friend, somebody that we care about. Of course, we don't wanna just go ahead and ditch them and never talk to them again, but you have the right to create boundaries in your life and require the people in your life to respect those boundaries. So um, take from this what you will. I hope it was helpful in some way. If you like these Mindset Monday videos, I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you back here again. I'm doing them every single Monday, obviously, hence the name Mindset Monday. And I make lots of other videos about personal finance and intentional living. I would love to have you as part of my family here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching today. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of today's Mindset Monday video. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye. I got an ache inside of me It's a deep hole where I bleed Oh, can I see you live? You're like an ocean